Treasury. Yeah. Treasury. Treasury. We're outside the Treasury. That's the Sharon getting off the jeep. <laughs> We're in the Wadi Rum Desert and we've come for that to watch the sun come over the hills and have a cup of tea. Chicken heads getting undressed in the desert. <laughs> I'm taking my jumper off. We're here watching sunrise. watching the sunrise. Just arrived at another location in Wadi Rum called Mushroom Rock. It's Mushroom Rock in the background. And the chicken head being the photographer extraordinaire that she is, I'm about to trip over, crack my head on a rock. <laughs> This is the cave of Lawrence of Arabia. With some inscriptions on the wall. Hand marks. Picture of a face. just arrived at the location of where they filmed The Martian with Matt Damon. As our star of the day, it's not Matt Damon, it's Kurt. It's very still and quiet out here. We're going to drive down this steep part of the sand dune, apparently. <laughs> After a beautiful night in Wadi Rum and a sunset spa and this morning we had a sunrise tour, jeep tour. Now we say goodbye to the Bubble Hotel and heading towards Petra. Here we are heading now to Petra. We have our Australian driver.
old village resort Petra. Looks pretty cool. So we've just arrived in Wadi Musa, which is the town where Petra is. And we've just checked into the old village uh, resort and we're gonna give you a room tour. Main bedroom. Heading into the bathroom. Obviously has all the mod cons, TV, air conditioning, and then we come outside under the balcony and have this awesome view of the town of Wadi Musa. And uh, just down over that way is towards Petra. So we are just at the information center or the gate of Petra itself. And um, we, I think there's a fair bit of a walk before we actually get to the Colosseum, I think it's called, something like that. Just come through the main gate. We're now heading down towards the monastery. I'm not sure the exact distance, but it's a reasonable walk. Prior to getting in here, I was uh, convinced to buy this headdress and uh, it was actually stopped me getting sunburnt. Got them down to 16 so I'm probably still got ripped. <laughs> but I looked apart. Starting our walk. Some of the caves where the Bedouins would have lived. Got some caves on the other side there as well. Just coming down to the sort of canyon area where I guess it leads towards the treasury itself. We've been harassed by a gazillion people about horse rides and all sorts of stuff. So we've walked approximately two kilometers down the uh, trail in between the canyon and we're almost at the uh, treasury. So this is the uh, Yunashu tomb and uh, I'm not sure there's two entrances one where we're gonna walk into now and Sharon's in here at the moment filming and there's possibly a burial or gravesite at some point and then we come into the main one, which I think was for a king. And we have the same thing. All these, what I would assume would have been burial sites for various family members, because they're quite deep as well. Pretty spinny considering it's thousands of years old. sitting up on the lookout which overlooks the theatre and uh, there is no railing at all so it's actually quite steep it's a bit hard to give you a good perception of how steep it is but if you fell you'd be in uh, serious trouble and if you can see
see the people in the background down on the road there, that would give me an indication of how high we are. We're just making our way down to the theatre and uh, I would say that there's a fair few people in this location back in the day because there's a fair few seats so not sure if they had sacrifices or had singing lessons or concerts I'm not quite sure but uh, it does look Romanish Romanistic from the uh, Roman times up there is where we were earlier and I filmed looking down onto the theater itself as you can see uh, from the people in the foreground here it's actually quite high and if you did fall good night we're just sitting at the front of the monastery you see that in the background but it's pretty hectic here at the moment there's a fair few people and uh, it's quite crowded with lots of camels and all sorts of stuff. And that's the direction that we came in from earlier. Thank you. 